so to know the structure of the atom different models were given okay so the first model was given by the thomson okay so this is called the thomson's model or plum pudding model okay so thomson said okay you can also say that uh, atom is like a watermelon okay atom is like a watermelon here so you have a watermelon so all this red part of the watermelon is like a protons, protons okay and you know the protons we have like positive charge okay and he said that electrons in this atoms are like so they are like seeds in the watermelon okay so you can see there are seeds so these seeds are behaving like a electrons. electrons so atom is like a watermelon you have the red part red sphere that is like proton and you have seeds in in this red part this is called yeah. these are the electrons so he said that the you know that the electrons are negative charge so he said that the positive charge in this atom is equal to the negative charge okay so since the positive charge is equal to the negative charge so the atom is neutral so atom is neutral okay so suppose you have five uh, positive charge then you also have a five negative charge so five positive five negative so they cancel out and it gives you zero so atom as a whole is neutral there is no charge so it's like you can see this picture is like this one so you have the positive charge all around and then you have the negative charge in between like this okay and they, this positive charge is equal to the negative charge and they are cancelling to each other so you are getting a neutral atom okay so the conclusion of the thomson model was that positive charge in an atom in atom is equal to negative charge and hence atom is neutral okay so this was true okay so only thomson's model would could only explain that okay atom is neutral but how the electrons are arranged in the atom because he said that okay electrons are like seeds in the watermelon okay so how the electrons are arranged in the atom this was not actually explained properly by the thomson okay so then the rutherford uh, rutherford gave his model so he rutherford just wanted to know how electrons are arranged in the atom okay how electrons are arranged in the atom so what he did he designed an experiment okay so what experiment he designed you can see experiment here so he took this gold foil okay foil means this is very thin very thin film okay and what he did he took this emitter here this is a meter so this emitter is emitting alpha particle so what is alpha particle alpha particle you know what is alpha particle actually alpha particle have nucleus like helium atom okay so suppose in the what is helium atom is you have two electrons two he4 you have two electrons and you have two proton and two neutron this is helium atom okay so if you, from this helium atom if you remove two electrons two electrons remove if you remove two electrons then electrons are negative charge right so if you remove two electrons that means that it will give positive charge 
okay because you remove two negative electrons so that means two positive charge will come on this helium right so this is like you remove two electrons from here so now this is like he4 so this is like helium nucleus okay so alpha particles are like helium nucleus if you remove two electrons this is like helium nucleus okay so he took the alpha particle this alpha particle or you can say the alpha rays so these rays are emitted from this okay and they are falling on this gold foil okay this is gold foil you can see so now this alpha particles are hitting the gold foil okay this was the experiment and actually he expected rutherford expected that suppose if these alpha particles are hitting the uh, gold foil he expected that there not be much deflection suppose maybe there is deflection but very small because the alpha particles are very heavy as compared to the because here in the gold foil what you are having the protons right proton so he thought that proton and neutron so he thought that if we alpha particle hit the gold foil maybe this will be slightly deflected okay but what happens uh, when he uh, found the results what he he observed he observed that okay suppose this is your gold foil okay an atom in the gold foil so this is an atom in a gold foil gold foil so what is happening these are your these are your right. alpha particle right these are alpha particles alpha rays so they are going right they are hitting the gold foil but here i am considering only one atom okay so because just to make it clear so i am considering only one atom so what he have he observed number 1 he observed that most of these lines are just passing through this and they are going straight okay so first one he observed that the most of alpha particles particles going straight right they are hitting the gold foil and they are passing through it and they are not changing direction so they yeah they are not changing their direction so this was his first direct uh, first observation what was the second observation second observation he observed that okay some alpha particle what they are doing they are slightly deflected okay you can see here this is very small angle if you see and if you see here the second one this is also deflected but slightly okay same here if you see this is slightly deflected this is slightly deflected so he observed that the sum alpha, alpha particles are slightly deflected yeah so some alpha particles are slightly deflected slightly deflected okay so slightly means very small angle okay so these were deflected at very small angles clear and then what he observed the third observation was he found that some means means very few very few means how many 1 in 12000 means one particle out of 12000 he found that this particle goes hitting somewhere and coming back okay so that means they are coming back at 180 degree because first they were going this direction now they are coming to this direction what is this angle 180 degree right so he observed that the one upon one out of 12000 alpha particle are coming back are coming back after hitting the gold foil yeah after hitting the gold foil so they are coming back means they are hitting at 180 degree okay so they are coming back at 180 degree 
सो दीज थ्री थ्री ऑब्जर्वेशन ही ही गॉट फ्रॉम हिज एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके सो ही वॉज वेरी सरप्राइज बिकॉज ही थॉट दैट ओके मे बी वी हिट द अल्फा पार्टिकल्स एंड दे विल स्लाइटली डिफ्लेक्टेड बट ही फाउंड ओ सम अल्फा पार्टिकल्स आर जस्ट कमिंग बैक एट वन एट्टी डिग्री एंगल सो दिस इज द कोट फ्रॉम द रदर फोर्ड वॉट वॉट रदर फोर्ड सेट रदर फोर्ड सेट ओके आई एम जस्ट रीडिंग द रिजल्ट वर ऑलमोस्ट एज इनक्रेडिबल एज यू फायर अ फिफ्टीन इंच शेल फिफ्टीन इंच शेल एट द पीस ऑफ द टिश्यू पेपर ओके एंड इट कम्स बैक एंड हिट्स यू सो इट्स लाइक यू टुक वेरी थिन गोल्ड फॉल इट्स लाइक अ टिश्यू पेपर यू आर हिटिंग अ फिफ्टीन इंच शेल to the tissue tissue paper and what is happening this is hitting the tissue paper and coming back and it hits you back okay so these results were very surprising so from this what he concluded from all these observation he concluded that what he concluded that most of because okay so he concluded since he he found that the most of alpha, alpha particles are going in the straight direction right so he found that the most of space is most of the space in atom is empty okay there is nothing okay so most of the space in the atom is empty that's why these alpha particles are going and passing easily right and they are not changing their direction and from the second observation he concluded that because the some alpha particles were slightly deflected right so he concluded that okay these nucleus in the atom nucleus in the atom is around the center and occupying very small space okay and occupying very small space and the third from the third observation he found that there is something right so all the mass of the atom is concentrated to a at very small place right at the center so he found that that all the mass of the atom mass of the atom is is at its center okay and from this he also concluded that the uh, size of the nucleus because okay so this is atom right this is atom and here you have nucleus right so he concluded that the size of this nucleus is like 10 to power 5 times smaller than the size of the atom so you see the size of the atom is bigger right than the nucleus so he also found that the size of nucleus is 10 to the power 5 times smaller than atom smaller than that of the atom okay so atom is so actually later uh, you can see that the size of the nucleus is this is 10 to the power minus 15 meter and if you see size of the atom this is 10 to the power 10 meter minus 10 meter okay so you can see that this one is this one is 10 to the power 5 times smaller so all the mass of the atom is basically at the center point okay so this is what he actually concluded and on his conclusion he gave a nuclear model so rutherford gave a nuclear model and what was his model so his model was number 1 what was his model that there is a positive charge at the center 
okay and this is called the nucleus and nearly all the mass of the atom resides in the nucleus okay so there is positive charge at the center and this is called nucleus okay and all the mass is at the center of the atom second he found that the electrons are so suppose this is atom so second he found that the electrons are revolving in the circular orbits okay so second he found the electrons are electrons are revolving around nucleus in circular orbits okay so this was its second uh point and the third point was that the size of the nucleus is very small as compared to the atom, atom. so third was size of nucleus is very small as compared to the size of atom, atom. so these are the three points of his model okay rutherford model clear okay so what happened so rutherford in his model gave all these three points okay but what happened he is saying that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the circular orbit so he is saying that the electrons are moving like this around the nucleus but what happens when any particle is moving in the circular orbit they accelerate actually okay so they accelerate that means they during the acceleration they lose energy they radiate okay they lose energy so suppose if this electron this is moving around this circular orbit and this lose energy so after some time they will lose slowly slowly will lose all the energies like this like this and suddenly they will fall in the nucleus and if they fall in the nucleus that means the atom is not stable right so okay so it's like the electron was moving here around the nucleus and losing energy losing energy losing energy losing energy and falling in the nucleus okay so that this shows that the atom is not stable atom is not stable but we found that what what we observed we observed that most most means atoms are stable right if you have any atom that is stable it's not that after some time it is just uh becoming non stable okay so after rutherford model bohr gave his model so after rutherford bohr gave his model and the bohr actually he just added few things in the rutherford model so what are the few, uh, few things one is in the bohr model he said that okay so he said only certain orbits which are okay so he said that there are only certain orbits which are allowed okay so let's say these not you cannot assume any orbit so there are certain orbits which are allowed okay and when this electron okay so when this electron is moving in these certain orbits okay then they are not radiating energy okay so so these these are the certain orbits okay so first he said there are certain, certain orbits certain orbits called special orbits okay
एंड सेकेंड वेन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन वेन इलेक्ट्रॉन रिवॉल्व इन दीज ऑर्बिट्स ओके इन दीज ऑर्बिट्स विच ऑर्बिट्स दीज स्पेशल ऑर्बिट्स ओके देन वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन रिवॉल्व इन दीज ऑर्बिट्स दे डू नॉट रेडिएट एनर्जी राइट दैट मीन्स डैट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज ऑलवेज मूविंग इन द डेट ऑर्बिट अंटिल अनलेस इफ यू टेक द एनर्जी और इफ यू गिव द एनर्जी ओके सो दे डू नॉट रेडिएट एनर्जी सो वॉट विल हैपन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल मूव इन दिस ऑर्बिट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल मूव इन दिस ऑर्बिट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड सपोज इफ यू गिव सम एनर्जी टू दिस आइटम देन मे बी दिस कैन गो हेयर ओके और इफ यू दिस आइटम लूज सम एनर्जी देन मे बी दिस कैन गो हेयर ओके सो दिस इज द सर्टेन एनर्जी टू मूव दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम दिस ऑर्बिट टू दिस ऑर्बिट दिस एनर्जी शुड बी रिलीज दिस मच अदरवाइज दिस विल नॉट गो सो ओके सो दीज आर द स्पेशल ऑर्बिट्स ओके एंड दीज ऑर्बिट्स आर कॉल्ड दीज ऑर्बिट्स आर कॉल्ड एनर्जी लेवल्स और शेल्स ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अकॉर्डिंग टू द बोहर मॉडल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज क्लोरिन राइट सो इन क्लोरिन हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स यू हैव टेल मी हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन यू हैव इन क्लोरिन सो बेसिकली दिस मे बी इफ यू नो द ऑफ वाउ प्रिंसिपल यू कैन अरेंज इन द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट देर आर ओनली ऑलवेज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके देन यू कैन पुट द एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हेयर एंड देन रिमेनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स यू कैन पुट सो यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट सेकेंड ऑर्बिट एंड थर्ड ऑर्बिट ऑल दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर मूविंग इन दोज ऑर्बिट्स ओके सो दीज ऑर्बिट्स आर ऑल्सो नेम्ड एज यू कैन से दिस इज के शेल this is l shell and this is m shell okay or you can also define these orbit as 1 2 3 4 4 and dot 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 like k l m n and dot 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 okay and so on you can put so these orbits are a special orbit now this is very clear right Thomson said, "Okay, there are protons. Equal number of the protons and equal number of the electron. That's why the atom is neutral." Okay, they took the uh, this statement of Thomson. Then the Rutherford performed the experiment. He gave some statement, right? What he said? He said that uh, nucleus means the atom has its positive charge, which is at the center, and this is called the nucleus. Electrons are revolving in the circular orbit around the nucleus, and the size of the nucleus is smaller than, than atom. atom, right? Then this correction of the circular orbits was done by the Bohr's model. Okay, so he found he corrected that. Okay, not in every orbit they have certain orbit, and in, in these orbits the electron do not radiate energy. That means the electron is not losing any energy. okay they move in the same orbit until unless you take the energy of the atom or you okay. give the energy of the atom okay so so atoms are stable okay. so these are the three model which explains the structure of the okay. atom okay so these three models are done now you know how the electrons are arranged in the atom and how the protons are arranged in the atom what is the size of the atom and what is the size of nucleus nucleus okay great